Hello everyone. Today I'm going to work on a rock again. Now this is the number one mold from the Happy Dotting Company and I painted it with this Hauser Dark Green. I think that's how you say it. And I, what I'm going to work on today is what everybody calls like the sea urchin pattern. Now I'm going to start with the sour apple color. And I'm going to use that for top dotting mainly, but I want my inside to be that color. So I'm going to start with a number 14 for my inner dot. So now we're going to go with the number 3 and make dots around this with Kelly Green. So I'm doing two dots in between each dot. So that'd be four, 12 dots total. So now I'm going to come in with the number three again, and I'm going to go around with Blue Ocean. And now still, these are still kind of close together. So I'm going to continue with the number three, and I'm going to do another row with that Cali Green. Okay, and now another row with the blue, still with the number three. Okay, now we're going to go a little bit bigger up to the number four with the green. Now with the number four and the blue. Now you'll see the pattern starting to emerge where it's going straight out. I'm going to go up to the number five and do the greens. Now with the blue and the number five. Now on to the number six. Okay, and then the number six in the blue. Okay, so now as you go further and further out, you're going to get more space in between these. If you just go on one up at a time if you don't adjust for the width of the stone so that these dots come together and just meet perfectly as they're going out that's the complicated part of this design otherwise it's really not complicated at all it's just every other dot in a different color now here we can go up, which I think I will. I think I'll go up to, instead of a seven, I'm gonna go up to an eight because we're making more and more space and see what it does. So I'm gonna go in with the green. Okay, now I'm gonna use eight with the blue. And as you can see, it's still going to leave me a gap. It's not going to be completely right up next to each other like I would like it to be. Okay, now we're getting substantially bigger again. So I'm going to skip again. Instead of going to a 9, I'm going to go to a 10 and do the greens. Okay, and now the blues with a 10. Skip again, and I'm going to go to a 12. As my stone is still getting bigger on the outside edge here, so we need to compensate for that. Okay. 
And now I'm going to come in with the 12 with the blue. Okay, and it's still getting bigger. So I'm going to go up to the number 14. Okay, I'm going to do the blues with the number 14 as well. And I think I'm going to leave my pattern as that. It goes almost all the way down the side of the stone. A lot of people will come in and white do white dots all the way down here. I don't know that I want to do that. I guess I could. Now the problem being is some of these spots are closer together. So I'm going to use very small dot and I'm going to make it smaller where I have to. So I'm going to start down at the base of where this is and I'm going with a number two and I'm just gonna dot all the way up So now, if I was going to do this again, and this is the first time I ever did this pattern, what I would do is I would probably draw my lines for these white lines and then just do the same size dot all the way down and then just fill in with these other colors because then it'll be completely straight and you won't have a little bit of distortion like I got going on here. Because I'm going to take it all the way up. Are you going to really see that? I mean, I could. And you could dot right over the top. Well, let's do it. So then it goes all the way up. And it's not by any means perfect because I didn't draw the lines on there. But it's really it is a simple pattern. It's just getting bigger as you go out. And it's color placement, just like that twirl pattern is and everything. It's just what colors you put where, what it's going to end up looking like. So now I'm going to top dot and I'm going to go with the number eight. And I'm going to use sour apple for the greens on that outer last row. Okay, and I'm still going to use number 8, but I'm going to use this Indian turquoise on the blue. And I'm going to use the same colors to top dot all the way up. I'm just going to change the sizes. This is the number 8. Now I'm going to go to the number 6. Now to the number five. Okay, now down to the number four. Okay, now we're going to go down to the number three. And I'm going to finish walking each row of dots up with the number three. So let's do the green. And then the number three with the blue, we'll walk them up again. And there we have it. I hope you guys like it. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. See ya.